more Dallas. here at our mule deer camp for uh, 2021 we got here late afternoon yesterday and it took us quite a while to set up camp so we didn't get to hunt last night but anyways we're all getting up it's a little rainy this morning and I'll take you over through the tents and show you guys the boys and the little Taj Mahal situation we got going on hey Alex you got say hello say good morning Good morning. Ryan. Hello and good morning. And then in here. The Taj Mahal. Oh. You got Damn. Coach Bradley. <laughs> Where's Dallas? I just got in here, just so you know. I Where's... just sat down. <laughs> oh my god. Just about herbed. <laughs> oh. Dallas is the last one that hasn't said good morning. Good morning just everybody. Choked to death. <laughs> Dude, nice, nice too. Though. Got the. Uh, I like your, I like your hairdo. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. You know, it's really, <coughs> it's really coming. You know, I mean, it looks fantastic. It is coming. Oh good. my <laughs> God! I'd keep that up in here. You got the mullet brothers. <laughs> take, oh my God! Wait, take your hat off, Josh. <laughs> you guys. Are okay, wait, wait, wait. Just hey, can we say oh, this on camera so there's some facts? We shoot the. The first two bucks, maybe you guys will. Uh, I was gonna join say, us you guys wanna? <laughs> how about this? How about this? If we shoot a buck, we get to shave your head. I'm know. not going bald. See, I made a promise that I won't cut it until I kill an elk. Oh, kill elk. But I didn't, okay, how about you, Dallas? Kill, tag kill a buck. <laughs> you want me to shave it off? <laughs> what? What? Alrighty. Well, it's kind of rainy this morning. We don't know what we're in for, so I don't think we're gonna film much, but. We will keep you guys updated. Oh. It is 19 degrees. After it's warmed up. It's Saturday, right? It's Saturday. How's everybody feeling? Sorry about the light face. A little, a little crappy. A little crappy. Not the best of mornings. All right. <clears throat> right. Yeah. How are you feeling? Are we supposed to be feeling? <laughs> like, I can't feel anything. <laughs> it is a wee bit chilly. <laughs> a wee bit? A wee bit. We are Not in route. Good. We are in route right now. The plan is, is that we're gonna kill a buck by no later than Sunday. So we're gonna have uh, maximum effort, right? Right, boys? Oh, yeah. Maximum effort. Low temperatures, maximum right. effort. All I know is it's Saturday. We've resorted to uh, kind of move into some different territory. It has been quite troublesome where we're camped. So we've been on the road for a while. Hoping that possibly we can round something up. And Nope, deer left side. Just kidding. Here we go. It was just a white-tailed doe itself. Just one single doe. Seems to be the trend out here. But we'll pick up. Uh, we'll pick up once we find something a little bit more exciting for you guys. It's been a rough couple days, but we just had a little rodeo. Uh, the three of us dove out of the trucks, chasing a buck up the hill here. And I think we kind of pushed him back down the hill to Alex in Dallas. And it's it's been crazy kind of trying to figure out where the buck went and where everyone is, but we just heard a gunshot, so. At what, like noon? Stay tuned. Woo! Got a buck down, boys, come on down. She's not the biggest buck in the world. But it'll do. Congrats, buddy. Oh, you guys did it. This is awesome. 
got a bunch of boys. Good job. Right We're on. on the board, baby. All right, buck down. I think it was Dallas. We'll, we got to go get the truck and get back down there to those guys. Perfect shot. Good, man. Oh, That's awesome. My goodness. Freaking first buck down. Dude, let's just drag it. Honestly, we could. Let's drag her up. Light. First buck down, boys. Yeah. <laughs> Ain't nothing to write home about, but by <laughs> God. We got her done. <laughs> We're not going home empty handed. Dude, Zach, you, you found an elk shed? Dude, six point. What? Six point elk shed, dude. Where did you get the f out of here? Where, where you had jumped out, we went up. Josh and Brad, right where you were parked. Right where you had parked known. and stopped and I backed up next to you. I looked down and I'm like, dude, that can't be a freaking shed. Jesus! All I saw was these big old points in the back. Then I saw the fork. This one's chewed off. <coughs> the fourth time is chewed off. Truck? Yeah, bed. <laughs> so just we want to apologize for the lack of film the last few days of the hunt, but we figured you guys would rather see another buck down than see us jumping in and out of the trucks a bunch since that's where all of our opportunities were coming from. I just want to wrap this up and go ahead and say that this area is a special area to Ryan and Alex's family. Um, they shared it with basically me, my father, and Dallas, and it was shown to them by their grandfather who unfortunately passed earlier in the year that we did this hunt um, since he played such a special role in all of our lives growing up coaching us and watching us play sports um, it really just felt like we were doing this hunt for him the whole time and it was awesome to make so many memories continuing his tradition so we pretty much just want to dedicate this hunt to him we didn't harvest any more deer but we had some close calls with big bucks two different bears and almost got trampled by elk one day. So that was all fun, as well as tons of other awesome memories, goofing off around camp, as you guys saw. So with all that said, this one's gonna be called Sharing Traditions, and we can guarantee that we'll be returning to Opa's hunting grounds to film more parts to this story and hopefully find more success in his name. Thanks for watching, everybody.